Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching the Neo Limmix Introduction Pack. And last time we got a little farther into objects and functions, but... You know, weirdly this has kind of the difficulty curve of an actual Limmix Pack. We tore through the first set of levels, and now we're getting to the second difficulty rating, such as it is. And things are starting to slow down, levels are getting longer, things are getting tougher. So, even though it has kind of a tutorial wrapper on it... Uh, there is still a nice, creamy, challenging middle. And we're starting today with set your priorities right. Set your priorities to stun. 24 lemmings, 24 to be saved. We have some of them already out of the hatches. They are getting a head start on being out and about. Want to assign a skill to a lemming facing a certain direction? Press and hold the left arrow or the right arrow, or S or F if you're, if you're, if you're kind of wired for WASD. Pressing the blue arrow buttons with the desired direction will also do the trick. Just don't forget to unselect them when you're finished. Pressing and holding nothing that I have assigned forces the game to select a walking lemming inside your cursor. If you don't want to select the digger inside a digger pit, for example, you can combine this with the directional select mode. Uh, I may want to set a hotkey to that, so uh, but yeah, that's something I may need to work out because it doesn't look like I have a key... There's no none key on my keyboard, so currently <laughs> uh, I should probably work on that. Levels may begin with some pre-placed lemmings, which are active straight away. These lemmings already can already have permanent skills assigned to them, like some on the minimap are green, so they may be... They're floaters. Okay, so what have we got here? All right, so how do we want to do this? We got two floaters, four... Okay, so here's where our directional handiness comes in handy. There we go. Cursor just kind of blip, 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 blipped out of existence, but here we go. Oh, no, I didn't want... No, no, back, 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 back. I didn't want to use two bashers. That's a disaster, so... There we go. It's much easier when the game is paused as well. So, all right, so now we have to... Okay, yeah, here's where the walker part comes in. So, what we have to do now is dig... And then get the uh, walker on. So I may have to set up a hotkey for this. I don't think it's going to be entirely necessary. But, okay, let's see how this uh, works out. Because traditionally, this doesn't go super well. So, alright, so I have this chosen. No, that's still a little too high. So, alright, so... The walker, I still have, I have a walker selected, so let's see how this goes. Hopefully he doesn't, okay, yeah, I was going to say, hopefully he doesn't get lost in the sauce there. But, uh, okay, good, so the floaters will go down to the exit, it looks like. Oh, no, I, okay, good, I didn't get too low, I don't think. Okay, yeah, I almost botched that, but he just kind of nudged up over the steel, that's very nice. It doesn't look like we needed our two floaters, not really. That's a safe drop. Yeah, we did it without needing the floaters. Okay, so that's interesting. I guess we could have assigned them ourselves, but not a necessary uh, deal, as it turns out. So, yeah, that one went really well, but I may have to think about assigning a uh, walker exclusive selection key. That is probably going to come in handy at certain levels. But moving on, hopefully we have keys assigned for other things coming up. This is a very pretty tile set. Who made this? We got... Mona Lemming over here. Pick them up, push them down. Pick it up, lay it in the cut. 20 Lemmings, gotta say 15. Let's go for it. Sometimes the exit is locked and your Lemmings need to first push down all buttons in a level to open it. These buttons are normally in a red color and turn green upon activation. Some tile sets deviate though and you may need to resort, you may have to resort to clear physics mode to locate them all. Filing that away for reference. Pick up skills are skills that need to be collected by your lemmings to add them to your skill bar. Just move a lemming through their trigger area to collect them. Now push down all buttons and collect the necessary, necessary skills. I think I need to pick up a pronunciation skill to reach the exit here. All right, so let's go. Let's see what we got here. We got, okay, we got this going. 10 diggers, 15. Okay, but we're going to need a few builders to reach the exit, it would seem. So one to is this background or might be i certainly hope it's background okay one two three builders okay so we got to pick up our all 
Alright, so let's work one layer at a time. Okay, let's get this cleared out. Very good. Alright, and then we will pick up... I think that I think that goes through the trigger area. Yeah, it's situated along the ground. There we go. And I don't think a button can be unpressed once it's been pressed. So, very good. So let's go ahead and bop our way down onto this. We'll handle like one layer at a time. Should be fine. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Good deal, good deal. So... Once everything that is needing to be accomplished here is accomplished, we got another button pressed. Three, four in all, it looks like. That is a uh, that is some animation happening there. I hope we don't have to save the gold Mount Olympus lemmings as well. No, we shouldn't have to. They're just part of the object. There we go. Another one pressed down. Very good. Let's go ahead and uh, dig into here to collect. Okay, and then he's going, so somebody else should be able to go as well. So you go ahead and pick that up, why don't you? And then we'll get through into here. So we've added three builders to our collection. Very nice. So this button... Alright, there's a sound and everything to let you know you've done it. Okay, very good. So now we still have to bash through some things. But we're going to have to be very careful with our builder placement. Let's see. So let's see if this is a background object that they walk through. It doesn't look like that. No, I was going to say, it doesn't look like the kind of object that gets walked through. But, okay, so... Alright, we're going to need a very tight build right here. Very good. I can kind of tell where they go anyway, just because, you know, <laughs> I'm good like that. <laughs> Alright, okay, going on... Moving on ahead. We should have this level pretty well figured out by now. Let's go ahead and bash through the globe. Hopefully it doesn't roll after the other Lemmings Indiana Jones style. Like that kind of traditional trap. Okay. Alright. I think just a few more frames ought to get him to the right spot. There we go. Dig through this lovely little sweet smelling bouquet of white oleander. This seems like it would be a go throughable background, right? Yes, okay, yeah. It's easier to tell in Neolimics what is a background you can pass through and what isn't. Okay, and one more. Chop, chop, boom, done. Very good. So there we go. This is a this is a very pretty tile set. I like it a lot. Got everybody, got groups milling around the place. You got lemmings in their own little clicks. Meanwhile, the builder is just plugging away. There we go, okay. So let's go ahead and speed this up to the end. There we go. I think that's... I think the remaining lemmings are pretty close by. Very good. All right. So that level is solved. So, yeah, something we're going to have to think about. Pushing buttons, opening locked exits, and picking up skills that are not part of our original skill complement. Next up is Split and Splat. 60 lemmings got to save 40. So there's probably going to be some death happening here i would imagine if we're only if the minimum that we have to save is two-thirds of the lemmings sometimes you can be unsure if a fall is survivable or deadly press and hold i to bring out the splat fall ruler it measures a 64 pixel fall so if a fall is just as long or even longer than this ruler it is deadly and should avoid it Splitters will alternate turning lemmings around to the right, left, and the right. Uh, I think that's an... Yeah, that's an object. That's not a skill that I have. We're in the objects and functions rating. Come on, Jess. For example, if a lemming coming from the left was not turned around by it, then the next left-facing one will be turned around for sure. Splitters cannot be deactivated. Now, can you avoid the deadly falls here with all the splitter chaos? Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. We only have... Oh, wait. Oops. I pushed the wrong thing. Okay, so... Alright, so we got... Uh, okay, this is... This is a safe fall right here. That's fine. Uh, but this is not going to be a safe fall. I think... Okay, we have stackers. Okay. This is... This is actually a safe fall, so we're good here. Alright, so we need to build stacks in the places where... Okay. Alright, I think I've got a pretty okay handle on it. All right, so go ahead. Oh, no, that's... Wait a minute. Am I reading the ruler wrong? You want... Okay, so... So this is... Okay, I thought the whole length of the ruler meant safe distance. But apparently not. This is... So from about here... 
So if it measures above the purple and pink lines, I think purple is like the danger zone and then pink is when they for sure will splat. Let's go ahead and, uh, uh, what replays? Uh, there we go. Let's try this again for the beginning. Okay. So go ahead and you're going to go this way now. All right. Some lemmings are going to die just by necessity, but that's okay. So now, all right. So let me read my ruler once again. So now this is a bad fall. So when we go through here, we're going to need him to build a stack. Okay, and then this one is this one is fine. This one is kosher. This one probably is this one is fine too. Uh, this one is not, I bet. So okay, so we want to build, and this one is definitely not. It's longer than the entire ruler. So okay, so we're gonna want to build here and here on both sides. Okay, all right. So let's get going. Yeah, about two lemmings per are going to get by. Looks like we're doing fine for now though okay yeah the stacker went on his merry way to a to a terrible terrible death okay so now you're gonna go through here and okay well somebody else is gonna need to build can they walk up those steps they look kind of decorative we may have to do um i'm gonna trust that they can walk up these steps i'm gonna assume it's just part of the tile set but we're going to need a stacker here as well. Alright, so let's see how this works out. Only a few stackers needed, really, technically. And you can save most of the lemmings in the level. Uh, so are we going to need to do some fancy stacker tricks here to help them get up these steps? I certainly hope not. Uh, although that could be the case. Nope, they walk up the steps. I kind of figured they would. That didn't seem like it would be very fair to allow that to happen. So we... Okay, so we've mastered... The splitter. That could be a scary object, I think, in the right circumstances. That could get... That could get really, really hairy. Okay, so... But they're doing nice and fine, so we should, uh... We should get the last few saved there. There we go. 40 lemmings. They gave you a lot of leeway on that one. But we saved 57. 17 more than were required. I think that's worth feeling proud of, don't you? Let's move on to the next level. The next level is going to be number 10, beam them over. So we do have teleporters in the Olympics, it would seem. 30 Lemmings, got to save 20. Teleporters teleport Lemmings to their designated receiver when they walk into their trigger area. They can only handle one Lemming at a time, though. Teleporters are usually recognizable by their in sign and receivers by their out sign. Nice little bit of, uh, nice little bit of work there. And I like how they kind of centered in and out over each other. I think that was probably... Uh, not intentional, but it looks cool anyway. To clearly see which teleporter belongs to which receiver, you can count on clear physics mode once again. Zoom out with the mouse wheel, activate clear physics mode, and hover over the teleporter of your choice to get exact information on where it leads to. Choose the right teleporters here, avoid the traps, and collect the pickup skills so you can reach the exit. So we're also using things we've already learned, like the pickup skill. Very nice. Okay, so... Let's, okay, we can zoom out. What is the whole level? Okay, so this is the whole level. Uh, this is a view of the whole level. So this is going to go to here. So we want to avoid this one. Okay. All right, so we've got it kind of zoomed out here. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, this one said it was leading to death. This one goes to, that no, that's not a trap. That's just uh, background noise. So we want to go into... My apologies, my microphone cord came loose for a second there. So as I was saying, we want to dig through this one, I believe, was the one. Let's zoom out. I think that was taking us down to the lower zone here. Yes, it was. So now let's use our clear physics mode. We want to go to... Which one do we want to go to? So C takes us right here. Takes us to this lovely new car, but we can't get out of here if we go in here. What good is a car if you can't drive it anywhere? So we need to go to this one. Yeah, it's looking like it's going to take us to the upper corner where we can get a pickup, a builder pickup, and the next teleporter. Very good. So let's go ahead and zoom back in. Get digging. I dig it. Do you dig it? I hope so. I hope we're on the same page here. Okay, that's just zooming way out. Okay, so now we're here. All right, very good. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and mine down right here. 
That's a little far out, maybe. Probably getting a little, a little silly with the the zoom in here. We don't want to get too close up, do we? That is that is that granular enough for y'all? The the limbing electron microscope here. That should be nice. Okay, so here we go. Hitting on the hitting on the solution here. I don't think we need anybody. Okay, so I'm having to keep a really close eye on this thing, and I do not like that. Okay, so... Alright, where was I? Let's... We got E. E goes down to here. Alright, and then we have two possibilities. F. F takes us to here. Another nice little pickup and another teleporter. I like that. G takes us to... G takes us to the airlock. We do not want... We don't want the airlock. I think we've already skipped the Ed 209 here. Okay, yeah, so... So let's see. Let's make that happen. Uh, they're down here now. Okay, so let's zoom in. That should be pretty easy to track, I would think. There we go. So they go to here, and then same deal here. We just kind of dig through at our leisure, as they say in the old British Isles. One of the weirder pronunciations, maybe. Though I guess it's not as weird as aluminium. Uh, leisure is one I'd actually feel like saying every now and then. So, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's just go ahead and mine down. That should... Actually, that's a really bad idea. That that takes everybody directly in here. Well, it doesn't matter. Again, one at a time through the through the teleporter. And I think I saw him go into... The, I think I saw him go into here. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, the next one... J... Okay, I... Okay, mmm. Do we need do we need to work double time here? Where does this one take us? L takes us back to the beginning, so we do not want to go to this one. So we want to go through J. J is gonna take us to our next pickup. Very good. So we can just uh we can just go ahead and uh, dig right here. Right? That is the correct one. Yeah, that is J. Okay, we need J. J is a good letter, I think. My name starts with J, so really how bad a letter can it be, honestly? So Okay, there we go. Hit there. Bip and bop through that. We will... Hopefully we'll make the exit eventually. This is a... This level is a bit of a rambler. So, where are we headed now? Okay, so... This is going to take us to here. Ah, I see now. So, we're going to be going up. One builder, two builder, three builder. Okay, yeah. So, we pick up the builder skills that we need. To save the day, okay. All right. Uh, all right. Yes, yeah. so we're gonna need to be very exacting and precise about this. Very nice. Okay, I think we've got this one pretty much solved. Yeah, that's not nearly as annoying a teleportation sound as the original good old-fashioned Star Trek beam-up sound. I don't think we have to make this super exact, do we? Probably not. I can always back up, too, if that's the case. That's the nice thing. I'm not screwed if I have to start over. All right. So, up you go. Up into... There we go. And I think this is the very last one. The others are milling around. They'll be making it eventually. So, they go from N, N to K to... K is here. J... H, I, J, J, the entire office. Some are still coming out from H heading to J. That's... But I feel like at this point... Okay, yeah, everybody has gone from H to J. J to L is the next stop. J to K, sorry, is the next stop. L would take us back to the beginning, and that would just be... <laughs> that would be a silly little disaster now, wouldn't it? Okay, so are you going to ever go in or what? Are you going to... All right, give them your coordinates already. Stand by. How many to beam up? How many limbings were in this level? Something like 10, 20, 40. I don't remember. How many to beam up? 30 to beam up. And we got the entire landing party. Everything is saved. We move on to our next five-year mission. Wahoo!